Uh, I have these two dogs and then two more dogs that my husband has right now and the three horses, the two minis and Georgia. I saw that it was going down into Santa Paula, but it could also, the winds can change with, this, with the Santa Ana's very quickly and come west to us because it's done that before and it moves so fast you barely have time to get out. I first hitched up the trailer, had my husband hitch up the trailer and then we um, put halters on the horses so that I could just grab them and put them in and start getting our effects together and everything, all our paperwork and you know, I mean, what do you take? So for tonight, what I have to report, a lot of things continue to change with the extreme fire behavior and the, the predicted winds that we have been experiencing uh, um, should be continuing. They continue to challenge us. Our fire is over 50,000 acres and still, and still growing. We have mandatory evacuations uh, in the areas around the entire fire. Uh, we had wind gusts last night and this morning anywhere from 35 to 50 miles per hour across the fire area. Relative humidity has dropped down anywhere between 3 and 10 percent. So that combination of those gusty Santa Ana winds and the very low relative humidity led to explosive fire growth, which you see now, as the commander said, over 50,000 acres as we speak. Uh, Forecast-wise, for tonight and tomorrow, we're expecting the Santa Ana winds to decrease in intensity, probably looking for gusts around maybe between 20 and 35 miles per hour tonight and tomorrow.